Here she is, the gorgeous Rihanna. Island. Actually, what a great look Rihanna's got going on there and with the <laughs> shoulder pads and everything. Congratulations. Thank you. That's amazing. Who, who made that? Is it a dress? Was it a curtain? Where, where do you get that from? <laughs> it's remarkable. It's a dress Beautiful. made by Alexander Vautier. You can wow. borrow it anytime. It's fabulous. <laughs> well, yeah, like it would fit me, <laughs> even with the belt. Um, it hey, could. Welcome to show Rihanna, uh, but Rihanna's not your, your real name. Well, is it Robin that is your real name? Your Rihanna's name? my middle name. Okay, so, so it's Robin Rihanna Fenty. And your fans sometimes call you Wee Wee, is that right? N my fans call me Riri, really? <laughs> but um, my friends call me Robin. Okay, Robin. But my first I'll name. I'll stick with Robin because Wee Wee for me comes out sounding wrong. And I, you know, <laughs> I, 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 was, I was being forward or something. Um, hey, so you're, I always thought you were American, but you're initially you're from Barbados originally. Yes. Okay, and now what's a, what's a Barbadian Christmas like? Bajan, a Bajan Christmas, it's, it's warm. There's no snow, there's no white Christmas. Um, but we have the same tradition. It's very family-oriented. And uh, just tons of food, tons of family, church. And we have, traditionally, we have turkey. Uh, do you have a turkey for a traditional... Uh... Not Christmas. No. No. What do you have? What would be the traditional... Ham. Ham? <laughs> a big ham? Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> We have ham too. You can't see him over here, but he's like winking at me. No, because <laughs> it would be because your bondage goes all the way down to your navel. <laughs> I have to say, it was a little uncomfortable watching Umbrella backstage with the priest. <laughs> just say, Did you have to play the naked silver scene? Uh, I, I don't think they were uncomfortable. Look, they can't believe they're lost. <laughs> oh, oh, you're covering your eyes now, <laughs> Father. <laughs> uh, so do you miss, because uh, how old were you when you left Barbados? How old were you left? I was 16. 16, so you spent yes. most of your early years there. Uh, what, what, what do you miss about the country when you left? What, what did you miss about uh, the country? I miss the pace of life. The weather is a ton better. I mean, there's a lot to miss. My so, family, so my friends. the pace must be slow, I guess. So you're Definitely. Relaxed, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's more laid back. You know, of course, every islander is like that. Yeah. Uh, we, just, we just like to do things. Are we? <laughs> um, um, so, but it's uh, it's very nice that you're, you're the ambassador of culture for Barbados now. So, obviously Thank you. you're, you're, I guess you're their most famous um, export. I so. mean, it was my pleasure anyway because that's my country, and I'm very proud of it, and I miss it. <laughs> well, it, uh, we have, you know what, all of us come from different places here and, and I found out the other guys have also been asked to represent stuff as well. If you have a look at this one here, you look behind you, there's because she was... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if you've been to Chiswick, it's a beautiful part of the world, OK? It's just very handy for the M4. Okay. Uh, and then uh, we've, got, uh, we've got another one here we've done, which is Eddie, of course. Eddie originally comes from the Yemen. <laughs> that's come from the Yemen, there you guys. <laughs> that's actually a bit frightening. Say, yeah, man, to Yemen. And I come... Have you heard of East London? Yes. I come from a part of East London called Leightonstone, and this is me representing the Leightonstone there, right there. <laughs> the East that is super Posse, sexy. Right there. But yes. my favourite one, I think this is rather lovely, the priests, of course, come from Northern Ireland, and do we have their, uh, their contribution to uh, the tourist board there? Northern, oh. Northern Ireland. <laughs> Better than it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now, now you, were, you were discovered by uh, Jay-Z, is that right? Yeah. Is that, uh, uh, well, I was discovered in Barbados um, by two producers, Evan Rogers and Carl Sturkin. So you were singing out there already? Well, no, I was just in school, but my friend knew them, so she helped us to meet up and audition. And after that, we did a demo together, and eventually Jay-Z got his hands on it, and we had to audition for him. Okay, and so, and he, I guess, uh, immediately knew you had what it takes, did he? He was... Yeah, we, si we signed the deal that night and we started our journey together. Now, OK, uh, let's talk about the big hit you had here, because what a remarkable, from nowhere, suddenly that song Umbrella and everyone's singing, everyone's going, and it was over, I, th I think it was ten weeks it was number one in this yes. country. That never normally happens unless you've been on a reality show over here. I mean, that's the, <laughs> that's the thing you need. Uh, awesome. And, what, and uh, we have some photographs, there, some fans with umbrellas. Is it true they banned umbrellas from the concert, so you didn't want fans to turn up with them? Not me. I wanted my fans to turn it with them. So you like I thought it was that? cool, and they they did it anyway. But the venues, it was for a safety reason. They, it would it would block people behind them as well. It could be used as a weapon. They thought. Also, you can take someone's eye out with an umbrella indoors, can't yeah, you? Yeah, so it was a little dangerous, yeah, which yeah. I understand. But have you ever said to anyone you could take someone's eye out with that? Have you ever said that when you see someone with an umbrella? <laughs> no. <laughs> 
No, I don't think to say you can go someone's eyes out usually when no, I see someone. No, I'm not saying you should encourage it. I'm not <laughs> saying you should say you can. No, the take first thing that out comes to mind is you can protect yourself from getting soaked with that umbrella. Yeah, yeah. I like it when you're because sometimes you speak quite American and other times your the uh, Barbados accent just comes out, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, I can't help it. I can't help it. I'm still Bajan, so you'll hear that. Uh, OK, uh, let's talk about the, uh, the new album, which is called Rated, Rated R, is that right? Yes. OK, and this is quite, it's quite honest. You talk about a lot of things that happened in your life, and, of course, the, the big story in your life the last few years, apart from your success, was uh, the assault that you suffered. Mm -hmm. uh, and you use some of that, or you talk about aspects of your life. Them. Do you find it... Is it easy to talk about? Do you, have you moved on from that? Is it something still that, that is... I mean, of course, I don't like to talk about it. I never like to talk about it. That's why I never did until recently because I, I felt like it was something that needed to be said to help young girls out there who are looking up to me. But now we're past that, and I just sing about it. <laughs> well, that's a, so you've kind of processed it. You, you can sing about it, and it doesn't take you back to the I mean, it the does. I, I perform every word. I relive it. Like, every... When I sing my songs now, it's not just great melodies, it's lyrics. I sing every word, every sentence. Well, we had uh, Reese Witherspoon a few weeks ago, and we were talking about a similar situation, and she was saying one of the reasons why she's put her name behind various courses is because a lot of young girls, when something like that happens, they feel almost like they can't talk about it, they shouldn't talk about it, as though they brought it on themselves, or they are in some way to blame. I mean, people are scared to talk about it. Also, it's not something you want to relive. It's not comfortable to talk about. Cool. It's not a fun memory that you just want to share with people. It's something you want to erase the minute it's over. Mm. So that's why people don't talk about it, but... Well, you know what? I applaud you for getting out there. I'm sure <laughs> everyone wants you. to, because it's a, it's a great thing you do. <laughs> Thank you and so it, much. And it's obviously a difficult thing as well. Thank you. So, you know, it's, it's <laughs> You've moved on professionally as well, you know. Are you seeing anyone new? Do you have or do you not talk about your personal life anymore? You try and keep Actually, I'm still single. You're still a single woman? Yes. How do you stay single? What's going on there? There must be, <laughs> you know? Um, you know what? I think right now I'm just really, really busy. Yeah, and you're keeping yes. the career going, you've got to focus on that. Absolutely. Hey, uh, you've, I've noticed various pieces of tattooed wording on your body here. How many do you have? How many tattoos do you have? I have 13 now. And are they all words or are they illustrations as well? No, this one is a tribal tattoo which stands for strength and love. Um, I have a skull behind my foot right there. A lot of them are words, but stars, star, Right Pisces. in the ear as well. Blimey, that must hurt in the ear, doesn't it? It lasted two minutes, so it wasn't that bad, but, but it, it did hurt. It was painful. What was the most painful? Was that it? Um, no. These. Ooh. These two. I, I have to say, like, I would never advise anyone to get tattoos on their fingers. Okay, but can I ask you then, once you've done one, why did you then have another one if you didn't have... <laughs> I know, it's stupid. You forget the pain after you, it's done. Like childbirth. And then you just, you know, I want another yeah. tattoo. That's why I have three children. I forgot, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how difficult it was after yes, the first one. I'm sure you never knew how yeah. difficult it was. <laughs> <laughs> so what does that one say there on the finger there? One says shh. love, doesn't it? Oh, shh. That's quite a good thing. I got this one just for this interview today. I had a feeling I would be using it a couple uh, of times. Okay. Have you, you have done a tattoo as well, haven't you? Did you tattoo someone? Yes, I tattooed my tattoo artist. Oh, well, are you a professional? Have you studied well, tattoo? Well, he taught me, and taught um, I did it on him. What did you do on tattoo. him? Tattoo. What, what, what tattoo did you do? Uh, he wanted an umbrella, which I, I, I advised him not to because I thought it was corny. Yeah. But he was like, no, I always know it was you. So I did an umbrella with an R. On his, uh, on that on his leg there. right here. Have you seen any strange tattoos on people? Yes. Which is the strangest one you've um, seen? The R on my album. On your album? A few people have that tattooed on them. Yeah, the, my new logo. So they do it for you because they like you. I, I saw someone once who had a picture on his back <laughs> of a, it was like a, it was a dog wearing a First World War German soldier's helmet, holding a gun, <laughs> looking down towards the man's bum hole. Where there was a tail of a fox coming out, and he was saying, "Come on out! I know you're in there. <laughs> you don't, you wow. don't have any, it's, it's, you don't have anything like that." Hmm. You know what? There's this girl in Barbados um, who's a friend of a friend, and she has a big dick across her stomach wow. right here. Wow. It's I'm huge, sure, I'm and sure it she's has a friend veins of, I'm sure and she's... everything. <laughs> it's terrible. I know. It's not a good tattoo. Uh, Happy for Christmas, else. everybody. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a conversation I didn't anticipate I would be having. <laughs> You. Yeah, I'm, well, no, I can understand why you got it there now. It's for you as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm so <laughs> excited you're going to perform for us. Before you do, we shouldn't forget that you have a secret Santa as well. I'm not uh -oh. sure who got you this one. So here you go, here's yours. Okay, this is what you got there. Let me find out who that's from. Did you get one? They have this in America, don't they, the secret Santa? Yeah. I've got one, I haven't opened mine yet. I've got mine. I think it's down here. Here's mine. Let's see. 
What else? Nice. Um, feather magic gloves with a luxury feel. They look mm. good. They're good. And they're only about, they're about a pound in the pound shop. <laughs> <laughs> you, have a, you don't have a pound shop now. I guess you have, do you have a dollar shop? I got shop a on nice it? little scully because it's so cold outside. Scully. You definitely yeah. use Whoever that. chose for Rihanna got and you right, I think. Just in case I need some rat glue traps. I have some. There you go. Who, who is this from? Perfect. Let me guess. Would this be you, Eddie? No, 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 that was me. That was you, Hugh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Hugh, you're so thoughtful. <laughs> wow, you know, you old smoothie, you know what a woman's looking for, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Something to wear on her head, on her hands, and something to catch some I rodents love with. It. <laughs> hey, look, now. Thank wow. You. Who got me this? Who got Fancy me this? Hold it, present. we did say there's a £10 limit on the. Uh, <laughs> It's a special Polaroid thing. What does this do? That's this from a... me. Wow, this is from you. Yes. Well, well you, you have really have fallen like for me, haven't you, Rihanna? This is fabulous. This costs more than ten pounds, doesn't it? Hold on. You didn't go out and buy this yourself. <laughs> you? Of course I did. That was the whole thing. You had to go get your own thing, right? Hey, uh, I'm so well. Hey, congratulations. You got the best gift so far this evening. I think. Well done, Hugh. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually um, ten eighty-seven altogether, so you owe me eighty-seven p. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Give him a tattoo, that'll even it out. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited. Rihanna is going to perform live for us, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what's the song you're going to do for this evening? Russian Roulette. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, will you join me in saying thank you to the fabulous and the talented Rihanna? Thank you. That was great fun. Okay. We're going to set up now.